This is question 3 of Civil Engineering General Aptitude section of gate 20, 22, forenoon session. If P is to Q equal to 1 is to 2, Q is to R equal to 4 is to 3, R uh, is to S equal to 4 is to 5 and U is 50 percent more than S, what is the ratio P is to U? So, in this question few ratios are given and uh, one condition is also given, we need to find the ratio of P is to U. So, for finding the ratio of P is to U, we must know the value of P and U. So, we can find the value of P from this uh, ratios. So, first there are three ratios P and Q, Q and R and R and S. So, just make one ratio. So, combine all these three ratio into one ratio. So, P is to Q is written 1 is to 2. And so, when we combine the ratios, so there are two steps, follow two steps. The first step, the first step is to uh, rewrite this ratio in a uh, uniform way. So, if P is to Q is written 1 is to 2, then just rewrite this ratio uh, with same alignment. So, this is Q is to R, so write R is to Q, so that the alignment of Q is same. So, ratio will also be reverse 3 is to 4 and here R is common and R is already in a uh, one alignment, so uh, same alignment. So, R is to S equal to 4 is to 5. Then second step is to balance this uh, ratio. So, uh, here the corresponding value of R is 3 and here the corresponding value of R is 4. So, just balance this one. So, just multiply this ratio with 4 and multiply this ratio with 3, then the equation will be, so uh, the P is to Q is same, 1 is to 2 and R is to Q, R is to Q will be, just multiply it with 4, so 4 into 3, 12 and 4 into 4, 16 and this one R is to S equal to 4 into 3, 12 and 5 into 3, 15. Here we can see the corresponding value of R is same for both this ratio. Now. Q is uh, common in first two ratios, but the value of Q is not uh, same. Here it is 2 and here it is 16. So, just multiply the first ratio with 8. So, then we will have P is to Q equal to 8 is to 16, R is to Q is equal to 12 is to 16 and R is to S is equal to 12 is to 15. Now, we can say Q is common in these uh, two ratios and the value is also same 16, 16. R is common in this two ratio and the value is same that is 12 in both the ratios. So, we can rewrite this all this ratio or combine this ratio P is to Q is to R is to S is equal to the corresponding value of P is 8 is to Q corresponding value is 16. The corresponding value of R is 12 and the corresponding value of S is 15. So, the new ratio become 8 is to 16 is to 12 is to 15. Now, U is 50 percent more than S. So, if uh, S value is 15, then U is, so U is 50 percent more than S, more than S. So, if P is suppose, uh, sorry, here it is S, here it is S. So, if S is 15, if S is 15, then U is 50 percent more than. So, 15 plus 15 into 30 percent, uh, 50 percent, 50 percent. So, it will be, uh, this is 2, so this is 7.5, so 15 plus 7.5, 22.5. So, the ratio between P and U. Uh, so, we need to find the ratio between P and U. So, ratio between P and U. So, the corresponding value of P is 8, P is 8 and the value of U got 22.5, 22.5. So, we can write it 8 is to, this is 22.5, we can write it 45 by 2. So, from here we can uh, write it 8 into 16 is to 45. 
so the ratio between p and u becomes 16 is to 45 so 16 is to 45 is it, uh, given in option d so option d is the correct answer for this question thank you